Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today I got a new review on a affordable dash camera from a company called Keekin. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, the model is N56. And what's unique about this camera is it's similar to the A119 in form factor or the A118. But uh, they claim it has Ultra HD or 4K. But the issue with that is this camera actually only has a 4 megapixel sensor and I feel like a lot of companies uh, are advertising 4K cameras and they'll even say 4 megapixel uh, image sensor but to get true native 4K resolution which is like 2160p you need an 8 megapixel sensor so unfortunately while the video files will say they're 4K, the image sensor isn't high enough megapixels to give you true 4K or true native 4K. Now, I still wanted to give the camera a little try because there is uh, another cool feature. This is an optional add-on which is a rear camera. So with, uh, with a rear camera it can do 1080p plus 1080p. And I believe this, yeah, this one is a Sony sensor, and I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll put down here what the sensor is. It's a uh, starts with an O, I believe. But yeah, with the rear camera, it's supposed to be able to do 1080p front and rear still. So now, Keekin did provide this for review, uh, so I'd like to thank them for providing this. Uh, besides that, let's, uh, let's let's see what comes with it. Now the inside of the box was interesting. It just had this, this little packet with uh, an adhesive, a spare adhesive, instructions, and then looks like the camera is inside this even smaller box, which strangely enough is also sealed. So cut that. And nothing in there. So. Wow, I'm actually sort of surprised at how large this is. I was not expecting it to be this big. Um, feels like a lot of budget cameras. Now in comparison, here is the A119, which was already, compared to the A118, was slightly wider, larger looking from the front. So this is uh, quite big. I, <laughs> I just really wasn't surprising that. Now the menu s system looks very similar to the A119 with the buttons down here. The 2.3 two inch screen I believe they say. Um, let's see we got, like the A119, we got a very sleek mount that goes flush up against the window. You gotta make sure you always remove this little lens cover otherwise you could get blurry footage. Well, let's check out the adhesive. So you'll see there it is uh, black adhesive. So I always appreciate when they use a dark or black adhesive or clear. I just really dislike when uh, companies include gray adhesive because it makes it so visible. So it just comes with this power cord which is micro USB. Pretty standard. This is a little very generic uh, 12 volt adapter. Comes with a 12 volt or USB port. Now not sure if the USB is 2.1 amps or if that's the total thing. Either way Probably wouldn't expect this to be very fast at charging your phone. <coughs> so, let's see if there's anything special in here. Interesting, uh, this seems to be an adhesive you would put on your windshield, so I'm not sure if that's... Uh, maybe this is a static cling. I know there's some cameras that have come with a, a clear sheet that is supposed to use 
static to keep the camera on and uh, you can mount it onto a uh, wind windshield temporarily but I haven't really seen many people prefer to use anything like that over something like a suction cup mount if it's available I'm guessing that's what that's for and as you can see yes it is a uh, electrostatic stickers so you would be able to use those to mount this uh, temporarily on a windshield like maybe a rental car I've never tried it myself personally I always had doubt that it would hold very well but it's not the first camera I've seen using that and there you can see some instructions I found it a little funny how the uh, box for the rear camera seemed much bigger than the main camera but it probably makes sense if it comes with a really long cable to, to uh, reach the back window got some instructions still in here not going to go through those and yep it is a very long cable and I gotta say it's uh, frustrating <laughs> that this is not removable so that is definitely something I do not particularly like about this camera. The build quality feels nice though, I'll give them that. It doesn't uh, feel super cheap. The camera is very discreet, all black. There's a little light on the back. And the plug looks to be mini USB, not micro. Judging by the appearance, it looks like just standard mini. Let's see if it fits into the A119. So, it appears not to be mini USB actually. I'm guessing it is some sort of proprietary connection and that's what I actually was thinking when I saw that because that doesn't look like mini USB here you can see it's rounder and smaller so that's another disappointing thing about this camera I guess I, I would prefer that they just used uh, mini or preferably micro USB if the power cord is also going to be micro but maybe they didn't want people to get confused but I mean it is labeled the instructions tell you which one's which so I think that's sort of an odd design choice so let's get it hooked up and uh, we'll go through the menu real quick so there you can see it did beep when it started and it's recording now 1080p not sure how well you'll be able to see that, but 1080p plus 1080p. No, I haven't even used it yet, so this is the first time plugging it in, but there you can see the uh, rear camera. <clears throat> now if we uh, hit OK, it should stop recording. Hit Menu, and this is a very familiar menu. It is the same menu that's on a lot of uh, Chinese dash cameras. Not sure how well that's going to show up. But of course we got resolution and since it's two channel right now it's only got the 1080p plus 1080p but again it's worth noting like I said at the beginning even though it has 4k it's not true 4k because it doesn't have an 8 megapixel sensor <clears throat> so we'll choose that and going through this it's pretty much like the A118 or A119 the menu looks exactly the same same graphics does have a wide dynamic range can change exposure which is pretty nice some cheap cameras don't have that but 
yeah that's about it there's not a whole lot to this of course I can format the memory card in here which is wise and of course you want this to be at 60 Hertz if you are in North America so that's about it so let's let's uh, get to the footage so now like I mentioned before this camera does do 4k video but since the sensor is only 4 megapixels you're not actually getting true 4k so I'm not even going to show any on this review just because YouTube's not going to upload it in 4k regardless but I don't think you should buy this camera thinking you're going to get 4k now you can get 1440p this is the same image sensor that the a119 uses so that is a good option what I'm going to focus on showing here is just the 1080p footage since that's all that is going to upload properly in this video but I think in general if you're buying this camera you should be buying it as the two channel version and if if you're just looking for the front channel there's better options out there I think I mean this camera is pretty big it has uh, the chipset and hardware isn't really uh, cutting edge or anything I mean the A119 has been out for at least a year and a half or maybe two years now and I think it's probably still the better option but this camera does have very decent two-channel quality a couple of years ago even expensive $300 Blackview cameras didn't have the rear channel looking this good so I gotta say even though it's disappointing that they advertise 4k and it's not true 4k and the 1440p you know has been pretty standard for over a year now in a lot of dash cameras the two channel 1080p plus 1080p market is still a little small there is uh, the Aki DR02 which I haven't used myself but then I did use one of the mini cameras that was dual 1080p so I would say this camera is definitely in the bunch of or the select few cameras that are worth considering if you're looking for a very affordable dual or two channel system with 1080p front and rear and you know I'm sure a lot of people are going to say this camera this camera is better uh, I would really like to try out the Aki DR02 but I just haven't had time and uh, seems to be a favorite of everyone's but overall you know the video quality here the nighttime quality is pretty decent even the rear channel obviously when you're on a dark street with no lights it's gonna be completely dark for the most part but all in all with the hardware the specs the overall video quality I feel like this camera is a decent camera it's it doesn't feel too cheap but it's still affordable so overall in summary, I think, you know, like I was just saying, it's an okay camera. It's uh, it's nothing super fancy, but it is affordable. Personally, I think they shouldn't even sell it separate because with the design, the, uh, the bigger design, just the lesser known brand name, I think everyone's going to pick the A119 over this. So, you know, the, there is an A129 now that has the two channels but it's like hundred seventy dollars or something so this camera is you know with the rear rear uh, channel is about hundred twenty or hundred thirty dollars if I recall correctly of course I'll provide a link down below to where you can purchase this um, I think having this just complete with the rear channel and maybe at a slightly lower cost than buying them separate would make this a much better value and other than that, besides the uh, sort of large size, um, the, I didn't have too many criticisms of it. It just does use outdated specs at this point, I would say. Not necessarily outdated, uh, because still people buy a lot of different other cameras with the same image sensor or the CPU chipset. One other thing I could criticize I suppose which is more to do with my car but in my I installed this in my Prius which has a pretty uh, low slanted 
windshield and I had to have this all the way down to get the footage I was showing because any higher and I start to have way too much sky so it would be cool if they included some wedge type uh, plates with this sort of like the Vifo A119 does so maybe that way you can get it uh, away from the windshield a little bit more for people with really low slanted windows so again it's a it's an okay option you know I'd like to thank Keekin for providing this for review I think uh, if they can refine their cameras they could become a decent popular brand but from where where it stands now it's, it's just a tough market with a lot of good competition out there so um, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that Again, if you like this video or my other videos appreciate if you hit like and subscribe I do provide uh, affiliate links down in the description uh, those do help support the channel not all the cameras I receive for uh, review from the companies sometimes I do buy them like all the anchor cameras I've been considering buying the Aki DR02 but I just haven't had time so again thanks for watching uh, drive safe and I will see you next time